Welcome to this uh, Windows and computer channel. And of course, uh, one of the things that happened since yesterday, a lot of people, uh, after my post of uh, AVG and Avast uh, problems, have been mentioning, you know, um, so there are some problems with uh, the November 2019 update. Well, I just want to make sure that everybody understands that this is probably the safest update that I've seen since the beginning of Windows 10. The background noise, as I often call it, which is the number of people complaining of problems, is very, very low. Um, and actually, even uh, in Windows Weekly, there was talk about this uh, last week, where uh, Mary Jo Foley and Paul Tarot said they basically don't really hear much because they are some of the first to hear that there's some problems and that something's uh, not right and that they uh, really don't have uh, much in terms of people complaining about anything. So this is interesting to see that we have, um, you know, a, a very, very good upgrade, actually. And, you know, antivirus third-party software is often the number one problem of updates. And I've seen so many times people complain about uh, problems with Windows. As a tech guy, I can tell you, and I, I still stand by this, apart from a few of the Windows 10 updates that, yeah, we're kind of a little messed up, for the majority of problems that I see when I go to check out as a tech guy is that the majority of the problems that I see aren't Windows related at all. But the problem is Windows is what you have there. So the first one to be hit by, oh, well, okay, it's Windows. That's why it's happening. Uh, and, and, you know, a lot of you out there have software that are, is installed. And sometimes you have a lot of software installed. That's why I always say, you know, your PC should be, um, you know, with the minimum that you need to work. So don't, you know, the people that have the most problems, honestly, are the ones that they want to install like a dozen and dozens and dozens of software. And they try everything. Remember that every software you install installs files and does things in Windows and modifications that can make or create problems with time. And a lot of the people that I've seen that have problems, um, well, you know, too many software, too many things in there. Uh, one of the things I want to stress out, you know, those cleaners, even CCleaner. I never use CCleaner. I don't think it's necessary. I actually don't even think it's useful. It's a personal thing. I know some of you always come back as well. You know, I, I clean my PC and it seems to run better with CCleaner. Look, uh, you use it, you use it. It's okay. But um, personally, all of that is unnecessary. And you're, you're you know, you're, you're losing more time using these things and trying to, to, to optimize. You know, Windows is Windows. And whether you use CCleaner or not, from time to time, it's a good idea to reinstall. Uh, you know, you'll never get by that. And that's pretty much all operating systems, you know. At, as you use them, as time goes by, it's not a bad idea to kind of, you know, scrap everything, reinstall fresh. It's the best thing that you can do. Um, these software like CCleaner do very little in reality in Windows to uh, really keep it running. So, um, you know, it's something that you got to gotta just understand it. You know, if you've been using Windows 10 for the past three years and haven't reinstalled, well, maybe, you know, it's time to reinstall. Some people sometimes, well, it's sluggish, it's this, it's that. I've been using my PC for four years and now it's slow. Well, reinstall. You see, it's going to come back to possibly the speed it had two, three years ago. Don't remember, and, and just remember that, you know, there is a slight, um, as time goes by, your PC does get slower as time goes by for a very simple reason. It's older and it doesn't run as fast as today's PCs. And, you know, the web content and the content that you download is also something that uh, gets, you know, a little heavier, a little more, uh, needs a little more power to, to run well. So uh, don't forget about that. But overall, as we look right now, since the uh, November 2019 update, uh, was released um, to seekers on November the was November the twelfth. It uh, is a good upgrade, and once again, I stress out that uh, you know as some people have noticed yesterday, it's not a bad idea, of course, to wait, and that that is fine. 
I mean, you know, being cautious is, is perfectly fine. But I d- still stand in, you know, behind my uh, my first uh, post where I said that this is, if you have one Windows 10 up- update to be on, this is the one you should be on. And you'll be okay for the next 18 months before you have to upgrade again to another uh, Windows version. Um, this week is going to be interesting also because we're going to see the numbers of uh, how many people are on what version of Windows 10. Kind of curious to see if November 2019 update actually has a little bump in there, if it's starting to show up. Uh, going to be interesting to see and where the May 2019 update also is in its uh, in its uh, market share of Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.